So today I'm going to teach you the basics when it comes to twisting, balloon twisting for either creating balloon animals for entertainment or creating twisted elements to elevate your balloon decor. Stay tuned. Hello, if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. And if you are returning, welcome back. It is Karen Sawyer, certified balloon artist with a tutorial on how to twist balloons. So, so you'll get started with either using a hand pump or a floor pump. If you know how to mouth inflate, congratulations. I do not. So I use either the hand pump or the floor pump. So for the modeling balloons, you're going to use either a 260 modeling balloon or a 350 or 360. And, but the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is stretch your balloon before you get started. And you will go ahead and place the nozzle onto your air pump. And then you'll go ahead and inflate. Now, there's a few things that's uh, lingo that you should know. When someone says burp the balloon, burp means you're going to let some of the air out so that it's a little bit more pliable and it's not so tight. So you just do that by letting a little air out and now it's easier for you to be able to twist. So again, burping the balloon is important so that when you start twisting, your balloon doesn't pop, okay? So let me go ahead and start with a very simple design, which is going to be a sword, okay? So when you do a sword, you're going to inflate your balloon pretty much all the way to the end, okay? I've inflated this all the way to the end, but I'm still gonna burp it just a little, just to make it a little easier for me to be able to twist. Now, so that is not difficult for you, I want you to pinch. So when I say pinch and twist, you'll pinch and twist, but we're not gonna twist yet. I want you to pinch here, because there's not much nozzle here and you're gonna have trouble tying it. So if you pinch here and let the air out, it gives you a longer nozzle, okay? So we just pinch, and now you're gonna go ahead and tie your balloon, okay? Whoops. Now, you can roll the nozzle by pulling it, and then you just push a little, and it just gives you a little bit more length there, okay? So again, we're gonna make a very simple sword. We're gonna make like the letter S, so we're gonna bend this here, and bend it over there, and then you have the letter S. So then what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the midpoint, you're gonna go halfway. Sorry for the squeaking, y'all. And so when you find it halfway, I want you to pinch it, actually pinch. And when you're pinching, I want you to do one turn, which is a twist. So you're gonna twist it while you're pinching. And now you have a sword. This has a little handle, okay? So. Let's do that again. This time I'm gonna move a further up so that we have a longer handle. So this time, remember, stretch your balloon. I'm just gonna use my floor pump. Okay, remember, burp. Okay. And tie. Okay, now, I'm gonna start it a little further up because I want a longer handle for the child to be able to hold on to this. So this is gonna be about that much handle. So pinch and twist. And now you have that much handle and then you have yourself a sword, okay? Now, I didn't inflate this enough, but it's not a big deal. I'm gonna fold it. And I'm gonna depress the air. So now there is no tip at the end. And there's your sword, okay? Easy as one, two, three. Okay, one more thing I'm gonna show you next is how to do the easy balloon dog. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and stretch my balloon. And this is a 260. Okay, so I'm gonna inflate it. Now I'm gonna leave about 
four fingers width of tail. And the reason we're doing that is because when I pinch and I twist, the air is going to move the balloon up. And so if you don't leave enough tail, what can happen is during the course of the twisting, your balloon will pop. So I don't have that many twists on here to make. So actually, I think I can inflate it just a little bit more. And so depending upon the recipe will determine how much tail you leave. I want to add just a little bit more to this. Yeah. So that's about three, two and a half. I'm going to uh, let some air out. I'm going to burp it. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tie it. I'm gonna roll my nozzle, okay? There we go. And I just depressed a little bit and moved it up to make it longer. And then you can stretch your balloon, okay? So I'm gonna use my hand for measurements, okay? So I'm gonna use my entire hand and I'm gonna pinch right between my thumb and my pointer finger. I'm gonna pinch and twist. Always go in the same direction. So in this case, I'm twisting toward myself. If you twist towards yourself, one twist, and then the next bubble, you twist the opposing way, you're going to undo your bubble. So always go in the same direction. So that's the first twist. And then I am going to, you always have to hold on to your first bubble and your last bubble. So you can use your body to hold it. And I'm gonna still use my hand for measurement. So I'm gonna pinch and twist, okay? I'm holding on to the first bubble and the last bubble. Don't have to hold on the middle. Now, this is the face of the dog. This is gonna be the ears. So I want both ears to be the same size. So all I have to do is fold this over so that I can pinch and twist, pinch and twist, okay? Now I can let go. So this is your nose, these are your ears, okay? Now we're gonna start down. Now see, I don't have, I haven't used much of that tail because I'm not doing much twisting. When you twist, you don't have to keep twisting and twisting it. You don't need to do a lot of twisting, okay? So now this is gonna be the neck. Again, I'm using my whole hand, pinch, and twist, one, two, three, okay? Now, this is gonna be the front leg, so I'm holding this to my body, I'm using my hand, pinch and twist, one, two, three. These are the legs, I want them to match. So fold over, this is a fold twist. Fold, and then when I'm folding, I'm pinching and twisting all at the same time, okay? How much tail do we have left? That's how much. And we're just gonna do one more twist, okay? So now you have your face, your ears, your neck, your front legs. This is gonna be the body. So I normally take my whole hand and I extend my thumb out for measurement. And that's where I'm gonna start the next legs. So I pinch and twist, one, two, three. Use my whole hand again, right? Pinch and twist, one, two, three. We're gonna do a fold twist, fold it over. Pinch, and while I'm pinching, I'm twisting it into this section here, into this segment. So I'm pinching and I twist. One, two, and three. Okay? And look, there is no more tail there. And there is your puppy dog. Okay? And that is easy as one, two, three. Oh, here's a tip. It's a bonus tip. If you use a larger balloon, it gives greater value to people. People like things larger. So this is still gonna be a very simple balloon. It's just gonna be a larger one, okay? So I went ahead and inflate it with my floor pump. I'm gonna burp the balloon, okay? And tie it off. And I'm just gonna make it. You already saw me do it. This should not take you long to do. Okay. That's your ears and your nose, my neck, my front legs, the body. And now 
the back leg. Okay, same twist, right? But look at the result. And then you will take your Sharpie marker, if you're using this for entertainment, and you will place your eyes and your mouth there. And there's your balloon dog. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Happy twisting, y'all.